Hey y'all, today I'm in beautiful downtown Savannah. I'm going to see if I can find some cool spots to check out. This is the city market. Right over here is the famous Belfords of Savannah, seafood and steaks. Um, there's lots of little shops and art stores. Right over there on that corner over there is the Prohibition Museum. And they have horse-drawn carriage rides right here. Over here is a really cool art gallery I was in yesterday uh, called A.T. Hun Art Gallery. A lot of really cool uh, paintings in there. We're gonna see what we can find cool to look at. Not made it very far and I've already found a cool car to look at here. I guess that's an advertisement for the Prohibition Museum. Looks like a 30 or 31 Model A Ford. Just won't take that home with me. The guy looks like he's been sitting there a while with his moonshine. Well, here's what greets you at the beginning of the museum here. That's a really cool Model T truck there. Lots of wax figures all through the museum here, looks like. Looks like he's bashing up a barrel of whiskey there. If you've never been to Savannah, um, it is famous for allowing uh, whiskey, your drinks on the street. You can just walk down the street and with your drink in hand. This is really a cool uh, museum, self-guided. A lot of interesting artifacts to look at here. The cool thing about this museum is you don't have to be a drinker to enjoy it. I'm not a drinker myself, but I do enjoy history. And it's interesting to see both sides of the argument displayed in one location and kind of the historical significance of it.
Lewis, Fred Miller, David Yingling, and up here at the top, we have Adolphus Bush, the Van Heiser Bush. Bush and his beer brewing vice for this whole mess to be able to pretty quickly and be able to go back to business as normal. This whole thing will probably blow over in a little bit as soon as these ladies come on. Right, right. The, uh, what the heck? The wave of prohibition now sweeping over the United States is only a passing craze. If given full swing, its meanness and cruelty will ruin the civilized world. I believe they mean well, but they are on the wrong track. On the wrong track? Good sir, this terrible disease that you and others distill has been ruining lives for many centuries. Alcohol has done nothing but, but bring an untimely death to thousands of our fellow citizens. The number is too high to bear, exceeding all those destroyed by war, pestilence, fire, flood, and famine combined. Moderation is the answer, not prohibition. We have a number of gentlemen that Oh, look what I found here, another multi touring car. The wax figures in this uh, museum are incredible. They look so lifelike.
Don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but look what I found, y'all. A 36 Ford four-door sedan. This represents the whiskey runners from that era. And it's full of moonshine back here in the back. And over here is a workbench with all kinds of uh, period correct tools from the era. And over here, a spare flathead V8. That was one of the coolest museums I've been in. Now I'm headed on down to the gift shop and we'll see what else we can find in Savannah. Y'all, I've been waiting all week to go into this store. It is the coolest place that I've been on this vacation. All kinds of cool furniture. 24E design. Already my kind of place. Where else are you gonna find a chrome skull at? Got some neon over there, some cow hides hanging on the wall. Lots of leather furniture in here and just really, really cool stuff. Lots of airplane parts. Awesome furniture in here. It's just really cool stuff. Any guy would be tickled to have this stuff hanging around in his man cave or in his garage. Look at that tabletop. Beautiful stuff. Got here on Monday and they were closed Tuesday and Wednesday. So I've been waiting to come in here since we passed by on Monday evening. Look at that nose cone from an aircraft right there made into a chandelier. Love this aircraft inspired table here. Hmm. 
Need a bar made out of an aircraft wing here? You'll find it here. Got lots more furniture upstairs. More airplane parts over here in the corner. Got this hanging lounging couch here. Awesome chair here. Really like that. Looks like that'd be pretty comfortable actually. Check out this old ghost ghost sign over here that uh, was part of the uh, original building here. Nice view of the Savannah Street down below there. Love these old buildings. There's a ghost sign on this side too. Can't make out all that. Original something, Bud, Budweiser maybe? Beer? Liquors and cigars. Huh. Old stage light looks like. Looks like some old carts there from uh, maybe the a railroad operation or something. I don't know. Not sure what they are. If you're into lowrider culture, here's an original art piece for you entitled Mi Vida Loca. What a great piece of artwork here in the store window. It's an airplane wing painted up with a fighter plane on it. If y'all get a chance and you're in downtown Savannah, you gotta come in and check this store out. What a week it's been, y'all. I've been to Savannah, Georgia, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Cookville, Tennessee, Sparta, Tennessee. Now I'm back home. Worked in a couple of car events this weekend. Even managed to do a little picking. Here's a Model T uh, lower chin pan I found. 
and a windshield post for a 1927 Model T Roadster. Hope you liked the video. This has just been a couple of uh, the cool places that we went while we were in Savannah. Uh, if you find yourself in that area, there's a plethora of things to see and do. Really cool place to vacation. Uh, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, y'all get out there and build something. And when you get it finished, drive the snot out of it. Go places, see things, and I'll see y'all on the next one.